This is a tutorial on creating user-defined databases in Wolfie Passive. You can create databases in Wolfie Passive even if you're not within a project file. The database lives within your software and not within individual projects. Databases can only really be created if you have a paid version of Wolfie Passive. If you have the free version, you're not able to create user-defined databases, but you are able to access all of the different components and materials and windows that are within the database of Fraunhofer. Okay, so in Wolfie Passive, across the top, there's an option for databases. You can see there's materials, assemblies, windows, emission sources, day profiles, HVAC devices, climates, etc. Um, none of these databases are connected, so if you create a user-defined materials database, that will not show up in the assemblies or in the windows, etc. So for example, if I go into materials, this is kind of how most of them look. The middle um, column is all of the materials that already exist in the database. There's many, many materials. To the right is a preview of that uh, particular material you click on and then to the left are the different catalogs that exist with the different materials in them. So if you click all at the very top left you can see every material that exists but you can also um, refine it down to a more detailed search. Also on the left hand side is where you can create your own user defined catalog. So under scope you can select user defined and under all you can click new and I can call it whatever I'd like, Wolfie Passive Tutorial. And now you can see in the middle there are no materials within this um, database. I have created some before, um, but this will be specific to your database on your computer. In, if you are creating material specifically, we highly recommend you start with a material in the database that is close to it. Um, so let's say I would like to create a new type of EPS. I would copy an existing material and change what I know about the material. You'll see there's tons of different information in here about the material. Um, you should copy an existing material that's close to your material and change what you know, which mo most likely will be the R per inch. Um, so you can change, let's say I have an EPS that's R4 per inch. I can go to R4 per inch here and maybe add this to the name R4 per inch. And now I have a new material and it's it's in here but I need to edit it and I can go to my catalogs. It's just a, a tab across the top. I can add a description if I'd like. I can add, you know, EPS R4 per inch and the type or the data sheet I got it from. Make sure it's in my catalog and select OK. So now when I go back to my user to find databases, I have this new EPS in my database. Same principles apply for the other window databases, um, assembly databases. None of them are connected. So you'll see now I don't have a Wolfie Passive tutorial user to find database, but they're basically laid out the same assemblies, preview of the assembly and the different catalogs that you have. These can then be accessed from inside your project file. So if you'd like to create materials or assemblies or windows that you can access from any project file, always create them in your database. And then when you are in your project file, under your assembly tab, you can always select from database. And that will bring you into your different databases and you can select the components or assemblies or windows that you created here.